The first unmanned mission to the moon was in 1959 by the Soviet lunar program, with the first manned landing being Apollo 11 in 1969. The primary objective of Apollo 11 was to complete a national goal set by President John F. Kennedy, and this was on May 25, 1961. The goal was to perform a crewed lunar landing and return to Earth. Additional flight objectives included scientific exploration by the lunar module, deployment of a television camera to transmit signals to Earth, and deployment of a solar wind composition experiment and seismic experiment package. During the exploration, the two astronauts were to collect samples from the moon and return them to Earth. They were also given instructions to photograph the lunar surface as much as they could. On July 20, 1969, American astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans ever to land on the moon. Around six and a half hours later, Armstrong became the first person to walk on the moon. However, over the years photographs have made the rounds on social media, and some have found interesting anomalies. NASA has said the majority of these can be explained, and these are either dust particles on the lens, or just other space anomalies that happen to get picked up. Others are not so sure, and have found various anomalies that they suggest are actually UFOs. One photograph that's currently making the rounds is this one of Buzz Aldrin. It's the photograph of Buzz just before he steps on the moon. However, those that have zoomed in on this image have allegedly found an unidentified flying object in the background. And not only that, but they say this craft matches the same shape as those that are seen on our planet. Amateur researchers have said that the craft is triangular or boomerang shaped. This is noted as being one of the most common shaped UFOs that are reported from around the world, leading some to put forward some interesting theories for why this craft was there during the moon landing. There's some that have suggested that the craft seen here is actually one of the triangular UFOs that's commonly seen on Earth. These black triangles are commonly seen in various countries, most commonly the United Kingdom, the United States and Germany. The craft in the photograph matches the description of the triangle UFOs, which caused some to suggest that they may not belong to us. Various triangle shaped UFOs have been seen close to the moon, which has caused some to question why they're there and why they're so interested in our moon. For over 40 years, the triangle UFO has caused much debate. It's perhaps one of the more mysterious UFOs that's reported. These crafts are often reported as being silent, and have been on a number of occasions just hovering in the sky. Sightings of the triangle UFOs often come in waves, with people seeing dozens at a time. They are also perhaps the most photographed UFO as well, with even news programs covering them. What's most interesting about these crafts is that they've been witnessed hovering motionless in the sky, and then suddenly making a high-speed departure. Pilots have said that they're faster than any conventional aircraft that's currently in the sky. Some have put forward the theory that the Triangle UFO is a top-secret government craft, while others have said it's most likely the next step in the stealth series of crafts, hence why they're able to do things that other planes can't. There's still a group of people though that think that these objects are unexplained. Although we mentioned that sightings come in waves, here in the UK these crafts are seen nearly every other week. Incredibly, there have been around 4,000 reports of the triangles since the 1990s in the UK alone. There have also been waves of triangle sightings in Belgium, France, Holland and Germany. One skeptic, however, spoke out about this alleged UFO and said the following. What I find interesting about this photograph is that these are the same people who claim we never went to the moon, and yet here we have a photograph of an alleged UFO. It seems that these type of people can't make their minds up on whether we actually went or not. From looking at the photograph, to me it just looks like a camera anomaly, or possibly a small piece of space debris. The only thing we have to go by is this tiny object in the corner of an image, and I'm sure if we zoomed in on many of the Apollo images we'd find similar looking objects. For me this is completely natural. 
NASA also gets a lot of questions in regards to UFOs, and one of these came from a user on Twitter. They asked the following, I know that it's true that Apollo 11 did spot a UFO. Is it true that other radios could pick up when the television broadcast was shut down during the spotting of the UFOs? If so, is it true these radios could pick up Apollo 11 saying the other spacecraft were spotted on the crater edge of the moon, and were much more advanced than Apollo 11 technology? Dr. David Morrison, who served as an institute director at NASA, said the following to the questions. I am sorry to disappoint you, but you are repeating stories that are known to be false. No astronauts saw UFOs. There are no secret Apollo transmissions, radio or television picked up by hams. There was no case of Apollo astronauts spotting other spacecraft on crater rims or anywhere else. Others disagree with this and have said that over the years many different types of unidentified flying objects have been seen close to the moon, and that after investigations are carried out many of these are forgotten about as they can't be explained. With one person saying the following, I'm not surprised that people still fight this. After all, it's not like NASA and other space agencies are just going to come forward and admit that we've seen UFOs. Of course, they're going to say the claims are false. All one has to do is look at recent sightings and news surrounding the topic, and it's easy to come to a logical answer for what's going on. Again, though NASA have said that these objects are nothing more than camera anomalies, They've stopped speaking on the matter because whatever they say is just pushed aside by believers. Interestingly though, astronauts themselves have spoken on the topic, with some even going public with their encounters and what they saw in space. This has only helped fuel the belief that there are mysterious objects in space, and that as of right now our tech is nowhere near as advanced as theirs. It seems like the topic of UFOs and the interest around it is at an all-time high, with some even believing that the government will be coming forward with some credible evidence in regards to the topic. It seems that time will tell whether the government knows more than what they're letting on. So what do you make of this alleged unidentified flying object captured in this photograph of Buzz Aldrin? Do you think it's a genuine UFO, or just a camera anomaly or space junk? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.